Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Khadebiya Palace today the Chief Executive Officer of Piavat Hospital in Thailand, who is currently visiting the country. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, affirmed the government's keenness to invest in the health care sector to provide the health services provided to citizens, noting that Bahrain benefits from the expertise of other friendly countries in this regard. He welcomed the approach of the Thai private sector to invest in the health sector and promote its relations with. Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the Bahraini Thai fast growing relations, noting the role of the private sector in this regard through cooperation agreements to achieve the interests of both countries and people. He highlighted the promising opportunities of cooperation between the two countries in various fields which can be developed through establishing partnerships between the private sectors of both countries and investing in the strategic geographic location of the Kingdom of Bahrain on the regional and international levels. His Royal Highness expressed the government's keenness to encourage investment in the health sector through its integrated system of uh, legislation and facilities that encourage investors to direct their investments to this vital sector in order to develop Bahrain as a hub for medical tourism. For his part, the chief executive officer of a Pia Veit uh, Hospital expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continuous efforts in developing relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Kingdom of Thailand, commending his support to the private sector to invest in the medical field. The General Command Headquarters of the Bahrain Defense Force announces that it will carry out a live ammunition firing exercise undertaken by the Royal Bahrain Naval Force, the RBNF, at a Her Shatayr area north of Bahrain on the Thursday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. The General Command advises those concerned to avoid the designated firing zone for safety reasons. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, extended his sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, to the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain. Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahrain's disabled athletics team achieving honorable results in the 10th edition of the Faza Faza International Athletics Championships with seven medals, and in the 8th edition of the Sharjah International Athletics Championship with eight medals, in addition to the outstanding results at the 9th Special Olympics Regional Games in Bahrain with 39 medals, which in a turn qualified. 14 players to the Asian Games to be held in the Indonesian capital Jakarta in October. His Highness Sheikh Khalid affirmed that these outcomes that totaled 54 medals is a result of the care and support received by His Majesty the King and his constant directions to take care and look after people with disabilities and encourage them to integrate into society, especially in the sports field. His Highness added that the government has placed people with disabilities on the top of its agenda when it comes to government projects most particularly in sports. He also noted that the efforts exerted by His Highness Sheikh Nasser has contributed to the implementation of the Royal Directives to increase the presence of people with disabilities in Bahraini sports through effective programs and development plans made by His Highness. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated the President and members of the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabled People for these achievements and uh, wished them further progress and their, in their future endeavors. 
As part of the preparations for the final government workshop set to take place next month, government officials today held a follow-up meeting during which the current government action plan 2015-2018 was reviewed. The meeting was led by the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs Mohammed bin Ibrahim Al Mtawa gave a detailed presentation outlining important initiatives within the current government action plan and associated achievements. Following the presentation, the Deputy the Prime Minister highlighted the importance of continuing to build on these achievements to deliver opportunities for citizens. He also instructed government officials to put forward their final recommendations on key policies and initiatives identified during the series of workshops and coordination meetings held in recent months. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak recognized the important role government officials play in driving forward national development and strengthening government efficiency to meet citizens' aspirations. The Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, directed government officials during the 2017 government forum to lead a series of workshops to identify mechanisms and key priority areas for the government's future goals. The final workshop, which will also be led by the Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Barak Al Khalifa, is due to take place in April. The Deputy Prime Minister Jawad bin Salim Al Arayil, the ministers and other senior government officials attended the meeting. The Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of Mumtarakat Holding Company, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, patronized the inauguration of Miller Middle East Company and its copper pipes factory. He affirmed that Bahrain will continue its policy of benefiting from the competitive advantages it provides to attract foreign investment in various economic activities that contribute to providing high quality job opportunities for citizens. The Deputy Prime Minister expressed pleasure in the company's selection of Bahrain to establish its headquarters in the Middle East as its will contribute to increasing the industrial sector's exports. The chairman and CEO of Muller's company, Greg Christopher, delivered a speech in which he asserted that the company aspires to achieve its goals of providing services to its customers in the Middle East and North Africa. The U.S. ambassador to Bahrain, Justin Sabral, stated that the joint project between contributors in Bahrain and the United States reflects the strength of commercial partnership between the two countries, expressing aspirations to establish more joint projects to create future jobs, opportunities and achieve more prosperity for the two countries.
The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi, inaugurated the 2018 Career Expo in the presence of the Director General of the Arab Bureau of Education for Gulf States, Dr. Ali bin Abdul Khaliq Al Garni. The event is being organized by the Bahrain Training Institute with the participation of 25 government and private bodies. For this occasion, the Education Minister highlighted the importance of this fair in introducing students at the BTI higher education institutions and secondary schools to the needs of the labor market in order to help specify their future professions, as well as to inform job seekers about the job opportunities or options available in government and private institutions, in addition to providing them with quality training opportunities. The exhibition is to be held until Thursday, March the 22nd. The National Institution for Human Rights organized today a roundtable regarding the conditions of people with Down syndrome in the kingdom. The meeting, which coincides with the World Down Syndrome Day, was attended by a number of members of the Shura and Representatives Council, representatives from government authorities and parents of people with Down syndrome. It discussed the challenges facing this category as well as their rights and public freedoms. The participants of the meeting stressed the importance of focusing the services provided to people with Down syndrome that highlight their capabilities. The outcomes of the meeting include a number of recommendations, the most important of which is legislative amendments to raise awareness about Down syndrome and how to deal with them, as well as the challenges they face. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdul Rafur. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,336.43 points, marking a decrease of 4.62 points below the previous closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks and investment sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks sector, representing 40% of the total value of traded shares. Results indicated that 60 equity transactions took place with a volume of 1,486,812 shares worth 219,929 Bahraini dinars. Bahrain Economic Development Board is participating in Bahrain Training Institute's Career Week 2018. Guests visit a booth hosting private and public sector organizations to learn more about opportunities in the job market. The initiative is in line with EDB's mandate of attracting investment to create high-quality jobs in the local market. The 2018 Career Week booth hosts ADB representatives in addition to a number of big companies. The EDB succeeded in attracting to represent job openings to students, graduates and other fair visitors.